And a very good afternoon, everyone, and happy happy Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today for a really fantastic webinar. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and HomeBasedTravelAgent.com, I want to welcome all of you and thank you for taking time out of your busy day to be with us today. Our host for this webinar is Scenic Cruises, and today's title is What's New for the Most All-Inclusive Luxury River Cruise Company, Scenic Cruises. Our speaker is Randy Goodrich, who is a trainer for both Scenic and Emerald Waterways and is the business development manager for agents in Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Alaska, Hawaii, North California. I'm sorry, North California, Utah, Colorado, and Texas. As always, we really appreciate the support we get from Scenic and Emerald. Before we get started, please remember that you are all muted, but of course we welcome your questions. Type in your questions at any time on the right-hand panel of your screen, and at the end of Randy's presentation, we'll get to as many questions as we can. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Randy so he can get started. Welcome back, Randy. Thank you, Sandy. Before I go any further, uh, let me tell you that I do not uh, cover Texas anymore. We did hire a gal from Texas uh, who came from another river cruise company, so she can give you a great uh, comparison. But anyway, that's one less for me to cover. Okay. And I'll have her contact information at the end of this presentation. So thank you, everybody, for uh, for joining us today. It's, I appreciate it. And uh, uh, we're going to go through some of the new branding that Scenic has out. Uh, you have a picture here of our new brochure, which is spectacular. It's getting raves. Uh, agents are able to use it to really uh, lock in the clients, uh, to get them excited about taking a river cruise and particularly about taking a Scenic cruise. So, so we'll go through a little bit of that rebranding, what that's all about. Uh, we'll recap all of our inclusiveness that some of you have heard before, and I'll go into some of the new itineraries and whatnot. 2016, and then I'll take some of your questions at the end. So, so our, our new branding, it's a scenic uh, logo. Is our new? Do we just call ourselves scenic now? Uh, luxury tours and cruises. Uh, the the degree mark uh, at the end of the scenic is uh, signifying our kind of our new uh, slogan of we'll go to the F degree for your customer, so they have the greatest experience possible on the river cruise. So. It's all about taking taking the scenic route, uh, which is a route that we want people to take their time, enjoy all these beautiful destinations, enjoy our beautiful ships, and really have a time of their life with many wonder wow moments. Uh, and that's going to be a, kind of a theme throughout uh, all of our marketing would be creating moments of wonder. You might know, see we're doing TV advertising now. We're going to be doing a lot more. Uh, getting very aggressive on that side, uh, but selling the, the scenic story about moments of wonder, all inclusiveness, what that really means, and uh, why it's the best thing for your customer. So obviously we, we create our routes are all the major waterways of Europe, France, Russia, uh, and then uh, new in the Doro in 2016 and also in Asia. So. So creating moments, wild moments, moments of wonder, like this one from a client talking about their experience of, in Avignon uh, at Palais de Pas, uh, things like that, are really what uh, we're going to be focusing on to, to send this message out to consumers uh, as well as to you all uh, that there are just some fantastic opportunities to, to have wild moments on these river cruises. They're just spectacular. And we talk about wonder, it's, it's something that everybody strives for. It's, it's just one of those special experiences uh, where you move beyond the physical and really kind of get emotionally involved in what you're involved in that day, uh, whether it be in Avignon or in the Palais de Pop or on the Danube or wherever, there's these opportunities for moments of wonder. So this is one that I just experienced a month ago. Uh, I took my wife on one of our cruises in the 1st of May, the one, uh, our Dutch Delights, uh, and that's in uh, Belgium and Netherlands. This was actually our first night out. We were sitting on our balcony, uh, just enjoying, taking in the moment the first night, uh, sailing from Amsterdam to Antwerp. 
and it was May 4th, and all of a sudden we went by this village and here the fireworks take off. Uh, wow, it was a wow moment. And uh, May 4th is the Remembrance Day when the Canadian uh, Armed Forces uh, came in and, and picked the uh, Nazis out of who were occupying the Netherlands. So it's a very important day to them. We had a lot of Canadian customers on board, so that was kind of cool. But it was truly just took our breath away. So that's the type of experience we want your customer to have. Can't promise this every time, but you know, you never know what quite what you're gonna see. Here's another one from another customer uh, who was in the Moselle River just seeing the mist down along the river there. This is our founder. Uh, he's all about choices, not options. Uh, Mr. Maroney founded Scenic back in 1986 as a, as a college student, uh, doing some tours to help his dad out, uh, fill up a hotel out in the, in the boonies of Australia, and has grown to one of the largest luxury tour and, and cruise companies in the world. So, But he's really very much about choices, not options. Options cost money. We don't want your care customers to worry about the cost of the trip once they get going. They pay for everything up front, done. Everything is included. Uh, the only thing they can pay for uh, is a massage, a haircut, maybe one of the small gift items in this very, very small gift store, and uh, perhaps a really expensive bottle of wine or, or alcohol. But everything else, all the other alcohol, wines, beers, tips, gratuities, transfers, uh, butler service, six dining choice, all that stuff's included in the price. So we're truly all inclusive. Um, a lot of the cruise lines would say they're all inclusive because they they include a certain amount of things uh, that could probably go into the all inclusive category. But to be truly all inclusive, you don't put limits on it. You actually go above and beyond the uh, minimum required to be all inclusive. Uh, you you provide electric bikes instead of just bikes to, to enable more people to experience uh, the bike experience and get to places that are too far to walk. Uh, you include more tours each day than just one. You have two or three or four different choices that people can make to experience these interesting and uh, famous places they go to. You give them a tailor-made device that's a GPS device so they can go out on their own. Uh, they're a little more, uh, they might take a tour in the morning, in the afternoon they want to go out and explore on their own. But they don't want to worry about getting lost and they're not sure what to see or they don't want to walk by something and miss it. So we've got this unique GPS device. So it's things like that and all the dining choices and, and the balconies on all the cabins except on the first deck. But not just a balcony. A balcony that has a, an outer window that raises and lowers. So you can enjoy the balcony when the weather's not so good because uh, it's such a great experience. So that's all. That's truly all. This is we call our ships spaceships uh, because they are more spacious. We have 169 passengers as opposed to 190 plus on similar size ships. We have 12 ships this year. Of the 12, 10 are the maximum length. The one on the, the one on the Seine is smaller, so we can get all the way to Hunfleur, and the one in Russia is smaller as well, 12 passengers. So the staterooms stay 22% larger. The public area is 24% plus, especially the lounge is large. Uh, we have a large bar, I and mean, you have free alcohol, uh, you need a large bar. It's also where we have a couple of our dining choices. And then uh, staff ratio is three to one, and I've mentioned six dining choices. This picture I took of our, our balcony, uh, just lovely, the concept. And you can see uh, the uh, railing here and the track line, so that when you push the button, there's actually two panels. The second panel, the outside panel, are raised up. And if it's cold, windy, wet, just close it. And you can still sit out there and enjoy yourself. So when we sat out that one night, uh, going on our way to Antwerp, it was gorgeous when we first started, and then it started cooling down. So we just gradually raised that window up so we could stay out there and enjoy it. And then when the fireworks went off, the window came back down. And we looked out and just had a, a wow moment. Cabins. So this is a quick... Uh, Quick view of the different cabin categories, D and E, those are our least expensive cabins down on the first deck. So the water level is about halfway up the wall there, so obviously no balconies. Uh, but 160 square feet, which is larger 
you know, 10, 20 percent larger than uh, some of the others out there with the other cruise lines for their lowest category. Uh, then we get into the balcony suites. Uh, we have several. Uh, we have balcony suites. We have deluxe balcony suites, and we have junior suites. Uh, from 205 to 250 square feet, they've got this beautiful balcony you saw a minute ago. Beautiful decor throughout. Nice uh, large bathroom with shower that's got multiple shower heads and great water pressure and L'Occitane uh, shampoo and that kind of stuff. You get into the larger suites, the junior suites on up, and you've got a bathtub as well as a shower and almost all the ones. There's a few of them that don't have the bathtub, which some people don't want. Uh, but anyway, that's a beautiful bathroom. And this is the Royal Suite. These are mid-deck. It's typically four of those on board. Uh, they sell very quickly. They're one-bedroom suites. Lovely. And this is a big suite. We call it the Royal Panorama. There's two of these on board. They're in the back of the ship. Uh, so there's a huge panoramic window uh, actually behind where this picture was taken, looking out 180 degree view out the back of the ship, as well as the deck on the side, beautiful window, beautiful upgraded furniture on the deck for this type of suite. Uh, one bedroom, you can see the railing at the top here, we, you can cut off the bedroom. Somebody wants to be out here and somebody else wants to be in sleeping. So, butler surface, of course. Dining choices. So we have the crystal dining room, which will uh, take everybody on board in one sitting but is usually not busy because we have multiple dining choices. So we also have portobellos. The picture here with these four people, that's portobellos. That's actually in the back of the lounge, which would be the bow of the ship. Uh, you can see the see the lounge here in the lower right. Uh, that's the main bar <coughs> area. And behind that is portobellos. During the day, it's a sitting area. You can, uh, if you're eating here, this is, table, this is uh, River Cafe. You can sit out there, but at night, in the afternoon, they close it off and they set it up for different seatings at the table from two, four, six, eight, uh, whatever. Uh, and that's closed off and that becomes a Portobello's or L'Amour in our French sailings uh, restaurant at night. Very lovely uh, five course dinner, lots of great wine they pour. Uh, very, very nice experience. Then uh, you have a table to read. I'll show you that in a minute. That's a table for 10. Uh, just uh, reserved uh, for the people in the top deck, the diamond deck, or the junior suites in the second deck. Uh, they're invited. They get an invitation from the chef uh, to join him, uh, actually join that table for dinner. We don't invite the chef. We don't invite the captain. It's kind of like a captain's table, but it's just for our clients. Uh, and then you have the River Cafe, which is over here. That starts at 6.30 in the morning with early breakfast. For uh, people, like I'd get up there every morning at 6.30 and have my latte and read the news and check my emails and maybe a little small bite to eat before going to breakfast with my wife. Uh, then there's al fresco dining on the deck and room service. So all the cabins can get some degree of room service. The smaller ones are a little small to have like a full dinner or something like that. But a lot of them will have a breakfast, you know, a light breakfast served to them by the butler. So that's really nice. So it gives you a little bit of idea of the foods. Uh, morning breakfast has everything you can think of. This is the healthy section with the fruit over here and a different smoothie every morning, champagne, orange juice, uh, eggs cooked to order, eggs benedict, things like that. So really wonderful food, lunches, buffet style as well. There are some things you can order. <laughs> and then the dinners are just fabulous. And different dinners, types of dinners, different focuses, uh, a lot of local food, things like that. Here's the table to read. So it is a table for 10. It's in the back of the dining room. Uh, again, uh, same as uh, Portobello's. You let your butler know uh, which night you prefer to dine, and you set that up and show up. Now, you, uh, this, this picture also kind of gives you an idea of the dress. Uh, very few people, gentlemen, will wear ties. Uh, it's not required. We do not have a dress code of any type, uh, except uh, no jeans or shorts. Uh, at dinner, especially one of these, a lot of people do like to get a little bit dressed up for these. It's a very, very nice uh, occasion. And probably this and Portobello's and maybe the captain's uh, uh, gala night, uh, you might get a little dressed up, but for the most part, pretty, pretty, pretty casual on board. Uh, so it's a great experience. It's about a two to three hour dinner experience. It's six courses. 
they introduce a different wine with each course. Uh, you end up becoming quite friendly with everybody by the end of the evening after all that wine. Uh, it's really great on our cruise. We ended up spending a lot of the rest of our time uh, with the people we met at this dinner. So. Here's an idea of the wine selection. A lot of people, a lot of cruise lines will say they're all inclusive. They give you a red and a white for dinner. Uh, well, we have six red and six whites. We have a Copa Rosé. We've got some port. Uh, and we have more of that where that came from. So nice selection. The alfresco dining on the deck. This is particularly uh, a wild moment when uh, going through like the Rhine Gorge. We're gonna, they're going to see 40 castles. I think sit up here having this gorgeous buffet lunch, uh, drinking the drink of the choice, and just having a just a just a wonder moment uh, that they'll never forget. Hopefully, come back tell their friends about it. The friends who want to call you and book. But the service, these guys are all trained, men and women. They're trained in the Netherlands. Uh, they're multitaskers. They they are butlers. They're head they're head waiters. They do all sorts of things. They're busy all day and night. So let's talk about uh, the shore, what we do on shore, because nobody else offers in the river cruise industry what we offer uh, for your clients. So this is just an idea in one small stop, one, two, three, four different choices they have uh, to do things in that particular area. And so that's typically in the morning. Uh, there could be an all-day excursion someplace. That I'm sure I'll, um, the one is the Arles from there. It's not very far away. Uh, but there's a lot to see in Arles. But anyway, uh, it gives your customer a choice, similar to if the cruise on uh, Regent, be a similar experience. You can't take all the shore excursions, so you have to choose which ones are most interesting uh, for you. We also offer our scenic and rich, so at least once a week, we'll have a, an exclusive uh, once in a lifetime type event. Uh, this, the upper picture is would be the private concert in Vienna at the Palais Liechtenstein, instead of like most of the other cruise lines do, is, is take you to a concert, charge you for it, and it's uh, one you're one of several groups, so it's kind of crowded. Still a nice experience, but being even more all-inclusive, we want our, our customers to have this special experience uh, in the Palais Liechtenstein with the, the beautiful symphony orchestra, ballet, uh, cocktail reception. Uh, just fabulous. The lower one is the Palais de Pop in Avignon. That's uh, we're the only company who have an exclusive to have a dinner and concert in the actual in the, the Pope's Palace. Uh, so the only other people that ever have an event in there would be like the French legislature. So quite quite an uh, opportunity. So each week we have one of these types of events. And then to add uh, more dimension to the opportunities to experience each one of these wonderful destinations, history and culture, we have what we call the scenic tailor made. It's a GPS activated device. Uh, there's two of these in each stateroom. They're there for the customer to use for the entire stay. Uh, they simply take those with them. If they're on a guided tour, it's going to be their, their listening device. They're here, the tour guide from a distance away. Uh, if they want to go out in the afternoon and wander on their own, there are preloaded tours, so they simply click the tour they want. Uh, we, in Amsterdam, we did the Rembrandt tour, so we clicked the Rembrandt tour, we started walking, it's just like any GPS device, so take a right here, take a left, whatever. If we were going by something kind of famous, it would ping us and tell us about that, so we don't miss things. Uh, but then, you know, with that, the Rembrandt statue, it gave us the whole history of Rembrandt, to his home, we went to the, uh, the church to go to, all this stuff. It's, it's, but it's like having a, a guide, a personal guide in your pocket. Very nice. You can also take it on the e-bikes that we have. You can also just wander around and not worry too much about getting lost because you, you find the ship. Uh, and it's, uh, it's pretty terrific. So nobody else has it. We had it built uh, especially just for our customers. And you can use it on board. So if you're on board, you're sitting relaxing on your balcony or at the top deck, and you go buy something, and that happens quite a bit, and nobody's making any announcements, uh, you can just look in your GPS device. It will tell you that that's the church or something, or a little bit of history about it. The e-bike, so 
rather than just have bikes, we have e-bikes and electrically assisted bikes. Uh, so you still have to pedal, but uh, I'd like to call them booster bikes uh, if you need that little extra boost. Going up a hill, you're just tired, uh, you can do so. Uh, so it enables more people to enjoy the experience of biking, and which, is, which enables people to go to places that might be too far to walk or it's just a special experience that the buses don't take you there. This is an example of our 22-mile bike ride between Dernstein and the Milk Abbey. Uh, on the Danube River, Wahau Valley, uh, instead of just cruising down the river, or if you're in a bus, you'd be down on the road by the river. Uh, this trail actually is up to the vineyards, these ancient villages, uh, just a very, very unique and another several wonder moments probably along that journey, but it's made easier with the electronic assistance. So our new model, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to the nth degree for clients. We want to do everything we can. The picture here is just a couple arriving in a, in a private transfer, which is included. Uh, for 2016, which is what else could we include that's reasonable? And so we have concierge laundry. So when your customers get the documents from Scenic, they're going to get actually real documents. Uh, and amongst that is also going to be a backpack for each person. Inside the backpack is a laundry bag. Uh, you'll see most of the people on the cruise itself would be using their backpacks every day when they're going out on tours or whatever, bike rides, uh, to have you know a, a raincoat or something on just in case, uh, whatever they need. Uh, but now you can have uh, once a week to put uh, you can you fill up your bag. It's one kilo, it's about two and a half pounds. So it's really talking about undergarments and things like that, kind of lightweight stuff that you want to have laundered and just give it to your butler and have to take it in it's one city per week that we do that in. Uh, so nice little extra perk. Okay, our cruises. So as I mentioned, uh, we do all the main rivers of Europe. And the, the, one of the most popular two-week trips is at the Jules of Europe, which goes between Amsterdam and Budapest, vice versa. Five countries, three rivers, 68 locks. But people love it because you get a really good flavor of uh, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Central Europe, you can kind of get it all on one trip. The 15-day Rhine Moselle, a little different from, from some other people. Uh, we uh, also include Belgium in that, so they can go to Bruges, which is fabulous, uh, Delta Works, things like that. So it's a little bit longer trip. Again, that's between uh, Basel, Switzerland, and Amsterdam, vice versa. The eight-day trip between Basel and Amsterdam and the Rhine, the eight-day Dutch sites, Belgian delights, one I was on uh, last month. That only occurs late April and the first part of May when the tulips are out. So I'll show you my pictures here in just a second. The tulips, 7 million tulips in the Cooper Hop Gardens. Uh, most popular one week trip probably is uh, Danube for most of the cruise lines. People just love to see that a uh, little bit of Eastern Europe and some of the famous sites along the way, and of course, Vienna, Budapest. You've got an 11 day Black Sea Explorer that will actually take your customer from Budapest all the way down to the Black Sea. Uh, and then you have a new 16 day Vienna to, Dan to the Danube Delta. Um, that occurs a couple times. These are pictures I actually took, not a professional. These are with my iPhone, so uh, pretty easy to capture, but it's just amazing the gardens that time of year. So I think this trip's going to get more and more popular as, as the word gets out. And this, this year, I think we had three sailings, maybe four. So, might want to, people like this type of experience, get them to book fairly early. <coughs> and then in France, we have just three rivers that are navigable. Uh, so we've got the Rhone, of course, uh, south south of uh, Paris. Typically, fly into Paris or into Nice, or vice versa. And uh, if you're going north or south, again. It's a wonderful cruise. We have both a seven-day and a 14-day cruise. So it can be a, a quick trip or a nice leisurely trip uh, up or down the Rhine, uh, Rome, I mean. And uh, lots of French wine, of course, great wine area, uh, and also lots of Roman as well as French history along the way. The uh, Seine River, which we're, we built a ship, we're the only ones that go all the way to Huntfleur. I'll show you that in a moment, how that works. And then new for this year is the Bordeaux, another rich wine area. So we really work on uh, some 
cultural immersion when we're in France. France is very culturally uh, interesting to m many people, and so we do as much as we can, shop with the chef, things like that. Uh, and the way Mr. Moroni works is he doesn't just accept the norm. He wants to know if he feels like there's something out there that uh, should be done a little better. Uh, he's willing to uh, put the money and the effort forth. So on the sand, his question was, why do all the, all the other river cruise companies stop in typically in Caldebec, some of their own, and then they bus the people to Huntsler, which is could be an hour and a half, two hour bus ride each way. Uh, it takes a lot out of their day. Uh, and really one of the purposes people go on this cruise is to get to see the Normandy beaches in that area. So he said, do whatever you have to do, build a ship that would go all the way to Huntsler so our people can spend more time, uh, not only in the Normandy beaches in that area, but even Huntsler is just a gorgeous uh, uh, harbor city and it's uh, very, very serene. So uh, he takes this trip from a typical seven day trip to an 11 day leisurely trip round trip Paris, it's, it's just lovely, selling really, really well. Bordeaux. And Bordeaux's got two rivers that we actually use. There is no real Bordeaux River. It's the town of Bordeaux, famous for its, its wine uh, area. And we spend a lot of time. We're in port every night. We don't sail at night. Uh, so there's plenty of experience to, uh, opportunity to experience the, the region and the wines and whatnot. Things like that. The cognac, a little shopping with the chef. So for 2016, we're going to have uh, 14 ships. So we're adding two more. We're adding one on the Doral. We're going to add one more to our Europe uh, ships. Uh, so we're 14 in, in total for Europe. The Doral itself would be a new itinerary for 2016. This is a unique itinerary from other people, the other cruise lines typically have a seven-day trip. Uh, ours is 10 days, and it is uh, it goes further up the river. So he's having built some of his own docks in order to do that. So he would go all the way up uh, the river to where we have a full-day excursion to Salamanca, Spain. And Salamanca is a world heritage site, uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful Spanish and uh, Moorish uh, history. Uh, just great. We have a beautiful lunch up there. And then you hit some other areas like Goa Valley, where most ancient artifacts have been found. Coffee and Papa, we have one of our scenic and rich events. We actually have two on this cruise. Uh, this night here is at the original home of the original king of Portugal, out of the kingdom of Portugal. We have another scenic and rich in Porto. So it's a round trip, Porto trip. Fabulous. You can add three nights in Lisbon. We have an itinerary that adds three nights in Lisbon, I think another three nights in Madrid if you want. So we're doing a lot more in Europe with land and cruise, uh, which is really nice for you. You'll see that in our brand, our brand new uh, brochure, uh, that there's a lot more itineraries where you can actually sell a land and cruise package. So with one call or just going online and booking on the online booking engine, you can book that whole package for your client, uh, make, make great commission, and uh, not have to do a lot of extra work calling multiple suppliers. Pretty cool. So, so the same ship. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful, I mean, a beautiful ship. It's a smaller ship. Uh, it's it's um, the next page. But you see where we have the uh, new docks, things that we're building. Ninety six guests, two hundred forty feet in length. Those are other ships that are four hundred and forty three feet long. So it's two hundred feet shorter in order to get further up the river. One to two staff ratio, we'll have a pool on board. Six dining venues, like the others, butler servers, like the others. What we don't have on here is uh, the e-bikes or the scenic tailor -made. It's a pretty remote area when you get up the river, pretty hilly, so and we keep everybody, everybody quite busy each day. I mentioned the Coa Valley we go to. So, uh, now we're going to go into Asia. So 2016, we're going to uh, and we announced in January we're starting the Mekong. Later in the year, we're starting the Irrawaddy. We're building a special ship. There's no other ship like this on those rivers. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's uh, all suites, all one-bedroom suites. In the case of the Mekong, it's going to have 34 cabins. In the case of the Irrawaddy, 22 cabins. 
uh, the two big suites uh, on our European ships are in the back. Here they're in the front uh, because of the, they have a 200 square foot deck uh, with a jacuzzi and a day bed. So being in the front will create some breeze up there in that higher humidity, uh, which make it a little bit more comfortable for everybody. 34 cabins, 278 feet, 278 feet long. Um, all one bedroom suites, the pool with the sun deck, uh, a gym, a cinema, one to one staff ratio, four dining choices, butler service, guest laundry, all the beverages, of course, tips, gratuities, short excursions, everything included transfers. Picture the, the pool area, dining. Our smaller suite, 344 square feet. The one bedroom, the sleeping area, the sitting area, the deck, the open window, 430 square feet, and then you've got the big one, which is 660 square feet plus the 200 square foot uh, deck. Pretty fabulous, huge. Uh, you see the day bed here, the jacuzzi, the huge walk-in closet. It's only a seven-day cruise. So I don't know why they need such a big closet, but that's what they want. Nagra will be January next year. We sail upstream and downstream, both directions, and there's low water in April or June, so we're looking at uh, probably not having departures, uh, but we might add some. It looks like it's going to be okay, but that's the, that's when they have some issues with getting through the through the river. So the cruise itself is seven days, uh, just outside Ho Chi Minh City this way or seven days this way. You can also uh, add on to this land, uh, northern Vietnam, Halong Bay, or Laos, or Thailand, or maybe go here and then go over to Miramar and do the Irrawaddy. Sink and Rich is an exclusive uh, Shadow Puppets performance, and lots more. So when you're talking to a client, the question really is uh, which, which trip do they want to go on? And where do they want to? Uh, when do they want to go? And then get them booked as early as possible. We provide early booking incentives. Uh, so we basically have two levels there: one that expires in August, the end of August; the other one, the end of October. And those uh, typically are centered around either free air or discounted air for all types of cabin categories. Used to be we just did that for the smaller cabin cabins, but now we've opened that up to other types of cabins. That picture there, that's my wife. Uh, we're out here just enjoying on our balcony uh, the scenery when we're, when we're sailing, sailing along. I love the picture. It's just, uh, you know, it looks like to me she's in an aha moment there, just they can kind of soak in all that environment, how beautiful it was. So let's talk about booking. Uh, our new website is scenicusa.com. It used to be scenicruises.com, so make a note of that. Uh, scenicusa.com. This is a consumer site here. Uh, to get to the agent site, it's the upper left hand. You see agent portal, and uh, that's just another copy of our beautiful brochure that you can order from there. So when you get in the agent portal, uh, Express Books is our online booking and quote system. So you can very quickly, I'll show you how you do that in a minute, create a quote if you want. Uh, that can be easily converted into a booking. You can order uh, brochures for the agency here up to, I think, 10. And uh, this would be our group policy here. I'll show you a list of our current representatives that might be in your district. You can get to it here, too. Scenic Specialist is our specialist program. I uh, highly encourage you to pass that. Uh, take it and hopefully pass it. <laughs> uh, but if you do, uh, the next booking that you make within six months, you get a, a $200 bonus commission for a couple, so $100 per person. So, some other features on this uh, page as well. We'll be adding more and more things all the time. Uh, the online booking engine, as I mentioned, is both a quote and a booking engine. So you very quickly you need a username and password, you just need to contact us to get that. We'll need all your contact information, IOTA, PLEA number, 
anything like that, and then we can get you set up. We'll send you an email with exactly how to, what your username and password is and how to access it. Once you are able to get in here, it makes it very uh, easy to make fairly quick sales. Uh, you find out where your customer wants to go and when. Um, each one of our sailings has a tour code. So if it's uh, the Danube, it's typically like NDU, or the, the one that goes across Europe, the Jewels, STC. Uh, put that in, you put in the date, and it would give you a three month range. And then two clients, typically. We do have a single cabin, so if you have one. And uh, then it will pull up a list of the uh, cruises that have availability. And the list to actually just be one liners, like you see the two at the bottom. I've expanded these by clicking the plus sign, and it tells me exactly what types of cabins are still available uh, and the pricing. And then if you click on any one of these cabin types, it will take you actually to a deck plan. The cabins that still have a number uh, on them are still available. So you can very quickly tell your customer which cabins are available. Uh, if they want to they're traveling with another couple and want to be across from each other, you, you tell them which ones have that capability. The pricing is over here. You can also point at each cabin and it will give you the deck plan. So you can easily tell them what the layout is of the cabin. You can add their dietary and mobility uh, situation so we know as soon as possible about them. Select which early booking discount they qualify for is best for them. And then you can either book or create a quote. And the quote, then you send an email, uh, typically just back to yourself so you can add some other comments to it. Uh, they'll have a link here to the complete uh, detailed itinerary. They'll have a, an attachment, which will be the invoice, should they buy. Uh, and then when you uh, get a call or get an email back from them saying, uh, that they would like to go ahead and book that. Now, if you haven't held the cabin, so the cabin may have been sold in the meantime, they're not prompt. Uh, but down here at the lower part, that, that second button there is convert to booking. So you simply click that. It grabs that cabin out of inventory. You add the customer information. And you can make the online deposit payment now. That's as of this week. Uh, we've created a, the opportunity to do online payments for deposit and final payments. So that's going to save a lot of time. Uh, so anyway, that's it. so easy to do. And with that, I am complete with my formal presentation. These are the current account managers. Uh, so in these areas, uh, we're looking to hire somebody in the Northeast here real soon, probably in the next couple of weeks. So we'll let you know about that. But it will be posted on the website. So with that, I'll take some questions. Thanks, Randy. That was fantastic. I think we're all fired up and ready to book some scenic cruises for our clients. We do have several questions, so we'll get to as many as we can. Uh, back at the beginning of the presentation, you were showing the pictures of some of the staterooms. Do they? Can you uh, tell us again? Do they have the ability to separate the sleeping area from the reading area in case both people in the couple are doing different things? <clears throat> Well, just in the uh, uh, just in the bigger suites, the Royal Suites and the Royal Panorama Suites have a separator like that. Okay. Um, tell us something about the demographics. Who sails on Scenic? Um, do you get any honeymooners? And are there any special considerations for honeymooners? Uh, well, I'm sure we get honeymooners. Uh, I don't think it's a real focus. Uh, the ships are pretty small, so it's not it's quite as intimate as some honeymooners would like to be. But uh, the demographics on board are uh, age-wise, typically 55 plus. Uh, people are pretty mobile. Uh, it, is, it is challenging. River crews are challenging. People that really have uh, difficulty uh, moving around without a wheelchair or a scooter. Uh, they, they can be handled on board, but it's, it's more the onshore experience. It's really complicated for them. Uh, so most of the people are 55 to say 80 or whatever, and uh, uh, we have a, a minimum age of 12. We don't take kids under 12. And the uh, nationalities, we're an Australian company. We had a fair number of Australians, especially the longer trips. They take longer vacations. Uh, and then a lot of UK people, English, Scottish uh, folks, uh, 
North, North American, uh, Canada and U.S. Uh, with a splattering of, of others, uh, it's all English speaking. English is the only, only language spoken on board, so uh, that's prerequisite. When I was on, we had a, actually had a group of, from the Philippines. Uh, I asked them, how the heck did you book this? We don't have anybody in the Philippines. And they booked it through a travel agent in North Dakota. Go figure. <laughs> That's, that's great. I'm glad they can do that. Uh, we've had several people ask questions about solo travelers, uh, s single traveler surcharges, and that kind of thing. Yeah, good question. So uh, we're, there is one single cabin on the scenic ships, um, and it is a balcony cabin on the second deck. It's just a cabin where there's a little walk, uh, a stairwell uh, for the uh, room stewards to get up and down. Uh, and so they just made that cabin uh, narrower as far as going from the inside out and put a single bed in. So that's priced for a single. Uh, I think it's about 125% of their normal cost. Uh, but announced, they announced that for 2016, in addition to having the fly free stuff, we're going to have a single supplement, no single supplement uh, for certain sailings uh, in March and April and also mid-October on. It would be uh, capacity controls, so there will only be X number uh, per sailing, so it will go fast uh, with no single supplement, so we're basically allowing people to travel uh, for half the cost that we normally would get for that cabin, uh, so, so just for one person only. The rest of the year, and that's for any uh, balcony stateroom or one of the lower D and E cabins. At the times of year, it's a 50% supplement, but it's only for the D and E cabins. Those tend to sell out quite quickly for us, so it's just something we can't do. Otherwise, it's a full sub, a sub additional supplement charge. But if you have somebody that is single uh, and you know they like to travel single and they're looking for cabins or whatever opportunity they can without getting charged double. Uh, I would encourage you to get hold of them, find out if they're interested, and get a date range uh, for an itinerary, and contact Res right away. That you can you can try online by there's there's a when you're an online booking agent it says how many people one or two so it'll try to search for a single. But uh, I think your best shot in that case is to call reservations and have them. Do a quick search. Which which uh, itineraries still have that single no supplement opportunity? Okay, excellent. Um, is there a cruise calendar on the website? So if someone is looking for a specific week during the year, they can see what the ships are doing then. Uh, I'm not sure of that. I, there is one in the brochure in the front of the brochure. Uh, they've done a really nice job in the brochure as far as. Excuse me. Or laying out what what's included, what are the special features, and then going into a uh, I think it's a two-page spread of the different itineraries and what pages you can find them on, things like that. So, uh, but I have not seen just I think I know what you're talking about. I have not seen that kind of spread yet. Okay, thanks. Uh, what happens once a um, client? makes a deposit and then has to cancel? Is there a cancellation fee? Is the whole deposit in jeopardy? What, how, how does that work? Well, the, our deposit policy is $500 per person, non-refundable deposit, uh, with the final payment being due 90 days prior to departure. So up until 90 days prior to departure, it would be, they, would, they would forfeit the deposit. Uh, if you know, Special circumstances can always be considered. Uh, if they need to sail another time or something, it just depends on what we have to do or somebody else is going to take somebody else's place. Uh, that's just on an individual basis to decide that. Uh, $1,000 is not a huge risk for a lot of people uh, in this case because uh, we're allowing them you know, a year or a year and a half uh, ahead of time to secure a cabin that we know we're going to sell, but they can have it. They've got it for only $500 per person. Uh, and unlike others, we don't require they pay the full payment up front. So we've got plenty of time to save up for the full payment. Okay. They change, they change, and we'll try to work with them with no guarantees. Okay, and as always, we always urge all of our agents to offer 
um, cancellation insurance with every sale. Uh, one of our agents wants to know if you could reiterate uh, the free laundry program. How does that work on board? Well, uh, on each in each week, we're going to have a city. It would typically be a, a major city, uh, like on the Rhine. It'd probably be something like Cologne, uh, in on the Danube, probably Vienna, uh, where we have uh, negotiated laundry service. So the customer simply fills up their laundry bag. Uh, it's free of charge uh, for up to one kilo or about two and a half pounds of laundry. Um, and then they give it to their butler. The butler in the morning, and the butler takes care of it. In the evening, they'll have their clean clothes back. Sounds great. If they want to do more. They have a whole bunch. They have, they have jeans that wear, they weigh about five pounds anyway. Uh, <laughs> They just need to, need, need to pay the extra amount. Typically on a one or two week cruise, it's mainly uh, under garbage, things like that, that uh, are getting soiled. Can you tell us about Scenic's group policy? Do you have one? How many cabins are considered a group? Is there a tour conductor involved? What's the group policy? Uh, we have a group uh, policy. We have it uh, spelled out on the website in the agent portal. There's a, there's a link to our group uh, policy. Uh, we have a group policy, a group person, uh, uh, actually several people in our group department because it's become very popular. Uh, it requires on a shorter cruise, a one week, the eight day cruise, it's uh, five cabins. The tenth person is considered the TC. On longer cruises, we go up to about eight cabins with number 15 person typically being the TC. It's all negotiable, uh, of course, but you can see right here on this screen, Jerry Hamilton is a primary contact for groups. So you want to contact her about a potential group and what availability there is out there for that group, and she'll get it set up for you. Okay. Uh, we have an agent asking about um, FAM trips and travel agent rates. So fan trips, we have a couple a year. They usually sell out very quickly. We, we make them available first to agents uh, who have been selling our product. We want to get them on board because they, they've shown us that they have uh, an, a clientele that, that likes a particular type of upscale product. Uh, as far as agent rates, uh, there's two categories. If you want to book out ahead, quite a bit ahead, it's only a 20% discount, so it's not too great, but uh, if you can uh, wait and book within four months, uh, then it's a, a, I believe it's $4.99 for an agent and $9.99 for a companion. Uh, for a one-week cruise for a balcony cabin, uh, we do require that you take our scenic specialist program first and then uh, take a look at inventory and see it's, it's going to require that there's probably at least 30% uh, or so open inventory still within that four-month period. Uh, so you have to make sure there's lots of availability. September is typically out of the question. So May and September sell out first. Uh, but if you want to go in, you can go in uh, mid to late October. It's good availability. Then we'll submit that to the reservation manager, and they will make the determination. If there's a certain number of allocated cabins for that kind of rate. Okay, great. Uh, tell us about the commission structure. What does commission generally start at? And are uh, agency commissions the same whether the agent books online or calls Scenic on the phone? Uh, the commission is the same, whichever way you book. Um, so the commissions can vary. Now, in, in the U.S. marketplace itself, we're, since we're fairly new, uh, we have a, a beginning rate of 12%. That may not be true if you call in Canada or some other places, other areas. Everybody's got a different setup, so don't hold me to that there. But uh, that can go up from there depending on, you know, kind of relationship we build. If you have a clientele that fits our particular uh, you know, type of product, uh, we want to work with you. And as we work with you, we do joint marketing and things like that. There's an opportunity to increase that amount. OK. And speaking of joint marketing, one of our agents wants to know if Scenic offers um, any of the BDMs uh, to give a presentation to a prospective group. 
Absolutely. We do a lot of that. We do more of that than anything else. I mean, I'm on the road all the time, not just doing these. As you know, Sandy, I'm sometimes out of my car or my hotel room. <laughs> we're doing lots of presentations to not just agents, but to consumers, uh, either on behalf of an agency or we do consumer sessions. Um, we call them now wonder sessions. Uh, we do them throughout the country. Uh, it's very unusual uh, out there. I hadn't really seen it before uh, in the travel arena, but uh, Scenic will advertise in the local papers. We invite consumers and agents to come to a presentation similar to this presentation, except I'm able to show the full video, uh, which are very, very nice. The clients get really excited. Agents bring their own clients that are thinking about a river cruise, and we give an added incentive during that show for them to actually uh, book within a few numbers, uh, several days, and they get, they save some money. The agent gets a, a quick sale and a nice booking. Uh, so you'll see those if they're in your, in your neighborhood that will be advertised. We're going to try to be more aggressive at letting the agents know when and where we're doing those so you can take advantage of them. But we're really happy and do a lot of presentations just for agencies that are having a travel show or want to just uh, highlight our product. Okay, and we have time for one more question. I would like to urge all of our agents, if you have additional questions after the webinar, uh, to jot down now the name of the BDM in your area or closest to it and uh, send along your questions. So our last question is about room service. If you could go over uh, room service, the actual question is, is room service available in all cabin categories and is it the same menu in all cabin categories? It is available in all cabin categories. Uh, there is a scale, so to speak, on what kind of services the butler can do. Uh, they try to be flexible with that, but there's there's kind of a so the lower price cat of categories. The rooms are kind of small; it's hard to do a lot of room service. They they can order, uh, you know, coffee in the morning, latte, whatever, uh, if they want, and maybe uh, you know, a pastry or something like that. It's kind of tough to have a full breakfast. Uh, when you get up to higher categories, then they start including. Uh, full meals, and there is a separate menu for room service, not my room, but just room service in general. It's, it's kind of a, you know, uh, shrunk down version because you don't have the buffet, you don't have a lot of the other things. But anyway, uh, also pressing, uh, like junior suites and above, they'll press a couple garments every day if they need it. Uh, when you get up to the big royal suites, uh, they will actually unpack the bags, repack the bags. Uh, have champagne waiting for them, but the but the butlers are are available uh, just about 24/7. They're they've got a phone on them. Uh, like I said, they're they're also the head waiters and they're multitaskers. But uh, I watched ours, and he uh, he would get called quite a bit. Did a lot of breakfast. I know that. Uh, I can see him doing that. And uh, they're, whatever you need, a lot of people will order a drink. And you can do that uh, in any category if you want a cocktail drink. Uh, and uh, your brother will bring it to you, maybe a little food. So quite nice. Well, that sounds fantastic. This has been a really wonderful presentation. Our host today has been Randy Goodrich with Scenic Cruises. And uh, I know we all learned a lot. Thank you so much, Randy. This was terrific. Well, thank you for joining me. And thanks to all our agents for taking time out of your day to join our webinar today, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.